Hello everybody and welcome to Style It Live tonight with Jo and Debbie from Kings Road. We are going to be presenting um, the gorgeous Italian brand Maria Bellantani um, and taking you through how to put their looks together for this season for summer 24. Um, we are now streaming live on Facebook and also we have our YouTube channel. So if you are watching us on YouTube, you can um, subscribe to the channel for updates and when new videos are released um, and obviously do like and share this video. Um, if you are joining us on Facebook, um, you are joining us live and you get to join in with the fun and games um, and our special interactive giveaway. So. Um, the way this works is we have um, a special word that we will feature at some point during the video and if you hear us say that word, you ring us on the shop phone and the first person to get through to us will receive a prize. And tonight's prize is going to be your choice of a pair of sunglasses. We planned to do this collection last week, didn't we? Yeah. And we've had all the sunshine and it was like nice weather and we're like, yeah, it'd be the week to do Maria Bellantoni. It's actually really cold today, but we're going to go ahead with this because um, we are being optimistic. I think it is set to change next week um, or, yeah, I think it's I think next week, week next hopefully, week. yeah. Yeah, it's supposed, to, it's supposed to get really warm and actually um, we have a lot of people who are coming in talking about going on their holidays and stuff. Um, so it's still a really fresh collection we want to, to talk to you about. Um, and we are also going to do a little quiz again tonight. We just are. Because, um, because it's fun. Because we, we like can. <laughs> <laughs> jo says hello and Meg says evening girls. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> All right. What are you drinking tonight, Meg? Yeah. <laughs> and Joe, are you still in the shop or you've gone home? see somebody else has popped on i don't know who it is if you have arrived do put um a few words in the comments so that we can see who's joined us um that's always nice i do a little zoom in on the cuddlers on the rail while we're waiting to see what meg's drinking <laughs> <laughs> and where joe is joe's in the shop that's it this is our life, you know, rocking and rolling. There's no Friday going nights. home. We're not even leaving the shops. <laughs> oh, I dear. Don't know what we're going to miss. Same as last week, but a new bottle, says me. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I dear. Ah, good. Oh, exciting. Thanks for joining us. Look forward to a few more popping on. Um, and of course, hello from the future. All the people who are watching on replay. Is that right? Am I in the future or are you in the future? I don't <laughs> Time travel. Oh. <laughs> I'm twisting so... my melon. <laughs> that is not the magical phrase. No. But we do need to let you know what the magical phrase is going to be this week. Or the um, magical word. The magical word, yes. Um, I think we could do a phrase at some point, couldn't we? But, yeah. You but... know, with all of my little quirks. We'll see how clever you get first. <laughs> no, let's, just, let's just stick with one word. One word for, for now. now. Um, so I think... Tonight, our word to watch out for is sky. Yeah, so simple um, and hopefully uh, easy to spot. But last week we had quite a remarkable word, really, that we, we used in the course of the conversation and nobody Noted. spotted it the first time. So <laughs> let's just see how that goes. Um, We'll probably mention later on for the people who come into the video part way through um, the word, but that's the one to look out for. Um, and what do you do when you hear the word? Ring the shop. That's Wobe and Sam's shop. <laughs> What's the number, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the number. Maybe. It's 01908 585 In case you think we rehearse this, we don't. <laughs> Do you think anyone is on here thinking we've re rehearsed anything? Oh dear. We just wing it. And... Hold on, there's my script. <laughs> my paper's out. Uh, we don't even know, I don't even know what I'm going to say about this. I'm just hoping it's all going to come together as we go along. So, shall we crack on? So Maria Bellantani is a gorgeous company 
they are um we just had a, had a sort of little explore didn't we did say they're 50 years old yeah 50 years old and they're still headed by the original um owners um it's family business you know which we all love um and they they have a heritage of um knitwear predominantly but they have of course expanded to um a wider range a fully basically a fully coordinated collection and it's a massive collection and um we love it we love a lot of things they do and we love the fact that they dye their own yarns so we get color matches and it works um works in boutiques scenario because you can really mix and match the pieces and create specific looks that suit you so we'll take you through a few of the key pieces and some of the looks and how you put it together um the dress i will start with because it is absolutely beautiful we love the this dress print. the dress it's got so many different colors in that you can accessorize <clears throat> and it's a really um nice shape with the, it's got a hidden side zip there. It does, of course, have pockets. Um, the seam there and cross over front, and it just comes over the top of the arms there and has an A-line skirt. So it's the sort of dress which I think you could dress up for an occasion um, or put on with a nice pair of sandals um, and make it just a casual everyday dress. But it's a, it's a real beautiful quality cut and design and in a lovely print. It's 100% cotton, and it's a, a cool cotton, um, almost like a, like a bit heavier than a poplin, I'd say, but it gives it that sort of lightness, but with enough structure to take that shape. Um, it features again in the lovely monochrome print, which is really cool. And the dress is 229. Perfect for a wedding or garden yeah. party. We've got pleats down the front. It's lovely. It's a beautiful dress, that one. And we like the print. Um, we also have, in the same print, um, a wide leg trouser. Again, it's cropped. It's like, um, like a clot style with the pockets the long waistband very easy that one i sold a pair of those yesterday it looked fabulous on her yeah really good i think we might have had something like this before for them last yeah summer, which is such a gorgeous shape that's why we've done it again and so you know as debbie said there's so many different colors in this print you can put anything with it that you like so you can keep it neutral you can take out the dark base tones you can do any of the pops of color um literally anything now from their collection we've got some really cute pieces in the um tangerine so this is the little cardigan that i'm wearing here in the cream and that's what it looks like fully done up it's a slightly cropped slightly boxy shape but the really nice ribs here how much are the trousers and the cardigan having a little look Trousers are one thirty, and the little cardi is one four nine. Just do a little twirl of you in the cardi. Very nice. It's lovely. So I've got um, just two of the buttons done up, so it's created a V neck. So you can choose. You know, it's almost like a slash boat neck. If it's all done up, the um, this is quite a nice part of the design. So you pop a little camisole underneath it because of the way the buttons close to the edge um, to get that sort of open effect. Um, but you can just do up one or two buttons, and I've got the sleeves pushed up. Um, also in the uh, mandarin colour, we have their lovely linen knit. So there's a, a tank top. In, this, in the same fabric, which you can layer up, or of course you can do contrasting if you prefer. And this is a um, sort of raglan sleeve cut, loose cardigan, but it's a great for adding a little pop of colour again um, to a neutral outfit. Got a lovely trouser here, which is similar to the shape I'm wearing. It's got the cuff on the bottom. You can't quite see the cuff on the bottom of mine because of the print. 
but this style is a sort of um what's that shape would you call it uh it's like a tapering leg yeah oh jules is here sorry i'm late had to go to work today Oh no, and it's oh, and you no. asked specifically for this collection. Did you did you not tell them that we're... <laughs> sorry, I can't work past five o'clock. I can't o'clock possibly do that. <laughs> Hello, Jules, anyway. Lovely to have you here, Jules. <laughs> um you haven't missed too much, but we will tell you the um recapping on the, the word to look out for tonight. Um and that is well, I'm going to say the word, but it's obviously not the time to ring. No. <laughs> <laughs> so the word is sky. So if you listen out uh, later on during the um, show, if we say that, that's the time to ring. Um, I've just shown these trousers in the off-white. Again, this is a gorgeous cotton poplin fabric. Really light, really cool. They're just clean, nicely cut, um, but easy to wear. These ones have got the pull-on waist and the pockets. We have a lovely trouser in the same fabric, which is a slightly more tailored style, which has um, a flat front and a, uh, no, sorry, butterfly front, just a little bit of elasticated at the uh, waist on the back, and that is just a slim capri. Again, it's just a really cool light uh, cotton, so great for holidays and great for hot weather. And you can layer it up with blouse, with a shirt, um, we have also got these in the off-white. Again, so often find that an off-white trouser is really useful for the high summer. Um, but when it's you know white trouser weather, sometimes you don't want anything that's too too heavy. So this is a really good style. Um, Susie says I'm here too. Hi, oh, Susie. Susie. <laughs> uh, lovely. It's nice to have some regular regular. It is, on. yeah. Yeah, that's no, really good. Um, so, uh, what have we said? Have we said about what the quiz we haven't is? told them what the quiz is yet? No. Okay, so we've got a few of you on now. So we've we've told you what the special word is, um, but the quiz we wanted to play with uh, a little bit of this brand because it is quite a nice company and it's got a nice story. But what we wonder if you know is whereabouts in Italy are they based? So. Type your words and yeah, your guesses in the comments. Yeah. We'll give you a few clues as we go on, you know, give you a few pointers, but. Um, we'll see how, how you get on first. Yes, <laughs> I don't know what your, your sort of geographical knowledge of Italy is like. Mine's not that brilliant. No, neither. Um, usually it's to do with food. If it's, uh, <laughs> does, it, does pizza originate from there? Does bolognese originate from there? <laughs> Meg says Milan. Milan? Ah, oh, nice guess. Nice guess, but... Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice, because not only are we enjoying the clothes, we're learning something here. We today. are. So, yeah, it's, um, it's always good to have some. Always Susie good. says Florence. Florence, nice. Nice name, Florence. I've been to Italy. I went many, many, many years ago when I was a teenager, uh, I think. It's on my hit list because often people come in to about the holidays and, and people really enthuse about Italy mm. and say how beauty, beautiful it is around by the lake and stuff like that. So I was going, yeah, I'm going to go to Italy. <laughs> so Susie Florence is also at. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Not, not the oh, oh Naples. That's Carol, I think. Oh, hi, Carol. Naples. Uh, uh. Aha! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh. Keep on guessing. Keep guessing, everybody. Did we tell them what they win for the quiz as well? I don't know uh, if we said that. It would be a pair, also, also a choice of a pair of sunglasses, sunglasses just to keep it nice and easy. So the prize for the phone in is a pair of sunglasses, and also from the quiz, just for fun. Susie says Rome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a buzzer up and press. <laughs> so here, just um, last piece of the print fabric. We've got this little um, easy tunicky blouse, cropped wide sleeve. This would have feel for that shape of sleeve this season. You can 
Um, obviously do it at the top if you want, it would look nice with the uh, slim denim or you can keep it in with the collection itself. And again, there's a bit of a feel for this um, collared, this sort of v-neck collared shirt. We've had this in a couple of, you know, I've had it in knitwear um, and also in tops and blouses. So, you know, it's nice to see that they're really on, on with the trend, but it is a very classical um, contemporary brand. It's quite timeless. I think these are pieces that you can invest in in your wardrobe and then just keep, you know, reinventing them season after season. So the shirt is one four five. Um, and the little uh, classic trouser is £90. Is that? I think it's slightly Actually, different to that off-white one. Yeah, I think you're right. that's not got a button and fly, No, this it? has got the side zip. That's 89 Same sort of price. Um, so perhaps, I'm not sure if this one is slightly slimmer leg. It looks it, actually. Yeah, possibly. Slightly. Maybe yeah. a bit shorter. It's probably some, something we realised at the point of buying as to why we were doing one <laughs> in one colour and one in another. Um, the, um, uh, the one I'm wearing here is a completely different style because it's got the, the tie waistband um, and it is put on. So that's navy if it's not shown, but I think it, I think you can see it's navy. Yes, yeah, so really yeah, it's navy and... navy and cream with a little cuff. Um, very nice, easy shape though. Now I'm wearing with it this little top, which is a very simple but elegant top. Great shape. And then on the back, it's got, I don't know if you can see, just that little cut out slip detail. So, and then just there in the neck as well. Oh, Meg's gone Genoa. Genoa. Uh -uh. <laughs> I bet everybody's got their atlas out now. <laughs> <laughs> little top's £50 there in the navy. That's nice. It's I really think that lovely. top comes in black as well, doesn't I it? I think it does. I'm not sure yeah. how many blacks we've got left. And these little trousers are 140 so again this is that gorgeous cotton pop here we just love that fabric for the summer it's a real goodie um and also in that fabric now this is the side zip shape with the flat front which is the same as we've got in the plain um off white jules so says she has the navy top it's absolutely gorgeous it's goodie, isn't it? it is very good and the black and white print which is the same as the dress 115 so, I like that little top there, which would look great with the cardigan that I'm wearing. Or we have also got... Jules, have you got any of the trousers this year? I know you've had quite a few bits from this brand over summer and winter. Mm. It does work really well. I think we're getting, you know, the fits seem to be working for people. Um, it's, and people are recognising it as a brand. It's not actually stocked in that many shops in the UK, so there aren't that many places that you can you can get it. Um, just showing you, I already showed you this cardigan in the Mandarin. Um, this is the same cardigan, sort of loose oversized shape. Um, but this time we've teamed it with this cute little top, which has, again, the same linen knit on the back. And trim around the neck but it's got woven front with this little tie detail there quite light and breezy and this little top also comes in black which I show you. Susie's in with another guest Ooh. Turin oh is it Turin, Turin. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> then says Meg do I know any more places in Italy? <laughs> We're all running a bit low now. <laughs> oh dear, Venice is... Uh, uh. Oh. Jules said, my husband said he's listening, so I can't possibly say if she's got any of the trousers. <laughs> what, these old things? Well, <laughs> uh, oh. anyone going to Italy this year? Has anyone booked any, any uh, trips to Italy? I'd like to. I'd if so, can we to. come in, yeah. curl up in your suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> Just showing the, the little black top there. And you could obviously put the black top with the cream cardigan 
all, all these sort of pieces you can interplay together and sort of work it as you like. Some of these pieces are standalone and some of these pieces will blend completely effortlessly because, as I said, they uh, create their own um, uh, fabrics from their own yarns. Um, also in this lovely poplin cotton, we have this gorgeous dress. It is just a simple, elegant, straight dress with a pocket, v-neck. No zip, completely simple, just the pleat down the front. Very long, but great with sandals. And again, this is just the sort of thing we'd like to set off with a nice accessory. We like our statement jewellery here. We do. Know. We've also got in the Wonders shoes, lovely orange and tan, which will fit in with a few of these. Mm. It'll fit in with that one and these prints here which have got the tan and the orange in and a little orange bag from SKFK and another little orange bag yeah the wonders shoes just gone on to, live onto the website so if you haven't been onto the website recently um, I think I might link them in the email sent out this afternoon to say that we were going live today um, yes so we just got those set on the website um, price on this dress is 130. Really lovely. So it's nice to have a little pop of colour there. Um, <laughs> I know I've gone straight into the cool <laughs> cottons and linens, but um, and I have told you it is known as a knitwear brand. So I'm just going to bring your attention to this little piece. Again, we've got it in two colours. The mandarin here is a lighter shade of mandarin rather than a very deep strong. Looks quite nice. As you see, they've got the double backed cuff there, and then under here, it's really under, it? yeah, and there. Quite and it's slightly more subtle on the cream, it's almost like a cream with a latte, a soft beige. So it's just a little detail, really, it's not necessarily something that you, but you probably could turn the cuffs back, but um, it's just nice that they bothered to put that extra detail in there. And that's just a very simple, fine knit, slim fit. Again, if you like it with a nice scarf or with a necklace. Works with all the trousers, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Meg says, have we had Naples? Yes, we have, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> that was also a... Uh -uh. Yeah. Have we got any clues we can give out? We have. Really? I don't know if it's... Is it too early? Is it early? We've had quite a few guesses, yeah. so I think we can maybe give one clue. What should we give as a clue? If anybody's into cars, there's two car, what do we call them, makers, mm, yeah. manufacturers, mm -hmm. that are based there or originated there. Originated from there one of them being Ferrari and one being Lamborghini. So if anybody that's into their sports cars oh, sports, and... Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't help me at all. Just no, not <laughs> not me at all. <laughs> Straight over my oh. head. <laughs> ah, so I've got some more bits. Shall I mention something? Deb Suter has given a guess. I think um, <laughs> Meg says that's no help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, Deb, did, have you missed a letter out of that or is that a place that I have never even heard of? <laughs> if you can type it again, just in case you've missed one letter out. Because we are reaching the... Because I am like, is, is our, that a place in Italy? Italy? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> is it worth me mentioning, mentioning a couple of other bits from other brands we've got at the moment? I've just finished them. Oh, there's, just, there's just guesses coming in oh. everywhere. Oh. Jewel said... Oh, must be Marinello. Well, is it Marinello? Uh -uh. <laughs> well, Meg said Bologna. Uh -uh. That's, that would have been my guess. Deba said Milan. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh dear, we did good it's things not in be this one. one. Of those moments where we go, we do this whole quiz, and then part way through, we go, oh no, it's not in Italy. It's, it's in Spain. <laughs> Geography is not my strong point. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we've got everybody thinking on a Friday night. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you here. Yeah. Um, I'm just 
to have the oh. little games back. It always makes it fit. We've had another guess of oh. Marinello. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> I wonder where that is. Mm. I, don't I don't know, know where that is. Close by. That's what I'm thinking. It's mm, be maybe. I wonder if it's somewhere close by. I hope we haven't got our research wrong. <laughs> definitely said it in our research. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to drop these in here because they're not part of the Maria Bell Bellantani collection, but we thought we would include them because they complement in terms of the styling and the colourways. Um, and because we had promised so many times to do Naya and we still haven't done it. Um, Naya's a new collection for us this season and it's done so, so, so well. It has actually been eaten into quite a lot. So... We might not actually get around to doing a full presentation on it. Um, but these, uh, playing on these lovely, cool, neutrals, classy colours uh, for a different shape. This is a wide leg, £85, pounds, um, soft drapey fabric, which works really well as a clot. And then they've actually put the little top with the uh, coordinating trim on the neck and just like a faux ruching effect at the front. Meg's determined to win this. She's <laughs> coming with a guess of... Moderna. Oh, Moderna. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you are correct, well, Meg. A confetti cannon. I oh, know. Yeah. We didn't even we have were, to use the balsamic we vinegar. Gonna, yeah, bring that in. Bring it in. Yeah. That was going to be the final clue. Well done, Meg. Yeah, well done. Yeah. We were, um, yeah, we, we did actually have to go on to, uh, I don't know what it's called, how you pronounce a word, because we didn't have a clue. We're no. Like, Medi Medina, 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 Medina. And what was it? Well, I'm not quite Medina. sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> Some bloke went, Moderna. 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 <laughs> Moderna. <laughs> that doesn't sound very exciting. No. So I'm going to go Moderna, yeah, I think. Better. Well done, Meg. You'll have to ask James. Cause he's Pair James of James sunglasses James. for Meg. I'm sure you can pop into Leighton Buzzard and choose which ones you want. Good. Nice treat. Yeah. Have we had anybody join us uh, part way through who might be interested uh, in about the, um, the, the word that we have to mention? If anybody time. doesn't know, oh yeah, yeah. Are, are we going to be reminding people too many times? Well, this will be the last time. So maybe if anybody would like to share the word to look out for in the comments for anybody who's joined later, um, and uh, if you don't know the phone number for the Woven Sand Shop, you'll have to look it up. Oh, so Sarah Benjamin, again. hi, late again. So <laughs> we have got a late comer that will need the word. And okay. Deb Suter as well. So if somebody could type the word into the comments so that the late comers can see that, because we don't want to say the word too many times, do we? No. No. Um, right. So there was that little collection, that little story and those two pieces from Naya. And then we also uh, introduced this little combination also from Naya, which um, someone very close to me already has this in their wardrobe. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so again, with the cool cuff on the bottom, so a more exaggerated cuff on this one than on the Maria Bellantani ones. Um, but it's a great fabric, great drape, wide leg but hits on the top of the foot. Super flattering, a little bit of stretch on the back, but proper fly. And then the little short jacket, which is boxy, neat, portions are great. And it's got one of these flat lying, um, wide slouchy hoods on the back, just a single button. And awesome. believe it or not, I had it on last Saturday because it was such a lovely sunny day. And it looked fantastic, didn't it? What? Well, thank you. We moved, moved into it, we'd moved fully into summer. And then the next spring. two days later, I've got my boots and a jumper back on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes so that i'll tell you the prices on that the jacket's 150 and the trousers are 115 these are available on the website have to um say i haven't got the maria Bantani on the website yet <laughs> um uh, but if there's anything you like um, that you see from our presentation tonight, then you can obviously get in contact with us um, in all the usual channels as well, or just pop into the shop and we will help the final bits that you're interested in. Is everybody liking what they're seeing? Have we got any favourites, favourite colours, or the print or the plain? I like the way that sits there, the, um, the orange, the camel and the cream. So I think nice, that's really nice, yeah. Really nice. If you're liking what you see, we could have some hearts or thumbs up or Yay. smiley faces. 
I'm going to just mention this little top here um, because <laughs> when we were all, we're always looking for just the right white or off white top or black top to go underneath things um, and just to bring your attention to this one um, which is £50. It is beautifully cut, really nice fabric. We have it in the off white and the black, but it's just a great base for underneath lots of different things. We recently did our big shoot. Um, for the season's collections and um it was these tops kind of were the go-to to go on yeah. to anything so just bringing your attention to this little mama b fine knit cardigan cielo which does that mean sky cielo in italian i could I'm do not sure. or cloud it might mean cloud i'm not sure mm. um but uh, this little cardigan which is semi sheer um so it's quite nice to have something underneath and these tanks would be great for that. Meg says black and white, of course. Uh, oh, 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 is that the phone I hear? Phone <laughs> Who could oh, that be? I don't know, it's a mobile number. <laughs> Who's that? Is it you again? You're on it. You are on it. <laughs> oh, no flies on you. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. Is that Jules? Put on it like a car bonnet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for you. Uh, I love the way you, like, what, you know, really try to discreetly drop these things into the conversation. You're like, no, I'm, I'm not missing out on this. <laughs> it's your choice of sunglasses, Jules. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I will yeah. just say, Jules, that you your last comment said, love it all and lobe the mandarin colour. <laughs> <laughs> Visit to Leighton Buzzard then. <laughs> Super. Oh, oh dear. Aww. Well done. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> so, do you get it now, people? Yeah, you have to be quick off the mark. Yeah. Okay. Who's, we're nice going to be, sweet. somebody's got to beat Jules next week, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> she can't get a hat trick. <laughs> Joe says she's dial. got us on speed dial. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh. Susie says, love the outfit you've got, Debbie. It's very oh, nice. I do love really it. Good. And Meg is asking, what's the fabric of the vests? The vests are... Oh, that was too much excitement <laughs> there. <laughs> um, they've got kind of like a silky feel, but I don't, so I don't think they're cotton based. Um, viscose, 95% viscose, 5% elastane. I think that is um, actually, they do do this, but it's a really good quality jersey they work with. I think this is similar blend, but slightly heavier weight. I can look for the fabric on these, if I can find it. No, it's right there. 70% uh, viscous, 20 poly, and elastane. Um, this shaped trouser is an absolutely amazing shape. So this is again like a viscose blend jersey, slightly heavier weight. Uh, but again, perfect for now. It's, again, I saw a pair of those yesterday, which looked amazing on. I think there's still, we've got the optimism and we have holidays and we, we know we want to buy <clears> some <throat> of these, but actually a few bits which you can get on straight away and then take you through to the next bit. The, these look quite long, but they're not, are they? Once you get no, them on, they not just at all. Hit, again, just to the top of the foot, really. But they're a really nice style. Um, again, side zip and, and a single button. But really great weight of fabric and a really nice drape those um, so we've just got the two colours for those and in the similar sort of jersey viscose fabric we've got this cute little t-shirt which is a semi-fitted style it's not mega clingy uh, but it's not completely a-line so it's just um, a straight cut with a, mm, a bit longer than the three-quarter mm. sleeve but again one of those lovely necklines and the detailing there with the way they put the trim on it's just all, you know, little things like that. They do it so well. Typical Italian style. And £79 for that little t-shirt. And that is the black with the ecru stripe. We have um, almost like almost like a washed denim as opposed to yeah. a um, dark navy. It's like a washed denim stripe, which is really nice. So in this colourway, 
we don't have the tailored, we have the slouchy t-shirt with the cat sleeve, which is a slightly boxier shape. Again, it's got the lovely neckline contrast um, edging that would look really good with, with denim, dark denim looks really nice, also could work with the trousers. And then in the same fabric, we've got this gorgeous shape, which we loved so much, we did it in both of the colours. So, it's really nicely made. Nice. Again, there's so much attention to detail with the way they've set the neck in. That one is £89, and that's got um, just past the elbow length sleeve, so that's a great one, and the lovely neckline. So again, you could really dress up a pair of trousers or a skirt with one of these tops because it's quite elegant in the neckline, but very, very easy to wear. And talking of dressing things up, we also have this beautiful top, which is the same sort of ribbed knit, um, or similar rib knit to um, the cardigans. It's absolutely beautiful on, it's isn't it? It's a fitted little shape, but with this lovely neckline, so you can set it off across the shoulders, set it wide, you can bring it up and create sort of like a, a bit of almost like a stand-up cowl. Really beautiful. They do these sorts of things so well. And that's 109, that one. And we've just got that one in black. And we added in another new addition to the website this week, uh, Red Button. Um, and we've talked about it a lot on our shows, but we haven't really got it live. Um, now it's available to buy. So you may have bought in the winter season um, a really nice classic smart black trouser. We've done it again because it's a great classic smart black trouser. Um, but we've also now got the same style in the off-white. So if you've had this style in the winter and got on well with it um, and are looking for a tailored uh, capri probably, just to the, again, just above the ankle, slim leg, classic trouser. And red button is such a good value, they're 67.50. So we've added that in because it kind of works in terms of the styling and the minimal sort of chic, elegant styling as well as... Um, with the colouring. And then we also have, this back to the Maria Valentani, this gorgeous little piece. Again, they're really good at things like this. So we've got the um, beautiful applique detailing on the front, which is really nice. A little touch of sparkle in there. Again, that fine linen -y knit back, and it's just in soft white, and then the cotton, it might be a cotton linen blend with a simple mandarin collar, v-neck. Really lovely. So How much here. is that one go? I can. I'll have a look for you. One, two, nine. So again, you can bring that in with the camel trousers, which looks really nice. Um, and really forgot, because you know, I'm a big fan of, of <laughs> camel, off-white and navy. The one other little piece, which has also just gone on the website this week, uh, again, not from Maria Valentani, but from Anne Dan. I wonder if I could put this on, actually. Yeah, I could. I don't know what size I'd put on there. It's a 10. But <laughs> have a try. Um, so this is a gorgeous little navy jacket. Great for, uh, like, almost like an outerweight wear jacket that you can put on. It's smart. It's got this little round neck, but the weight of the poppers means that if you wear it open, it creates a V. It's a really nice little shape, and I think it will... Actually, if I take the cardigan off, you'll be able to see the shape of the, the camisole as well. Jules says, love the off-white top with the embroidery. Can you put one aside for me, please? Has your husband left the room? <laughs> 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 oh, dear. I'm sure Joe will put you on a side in, Nathan Buzzard. So quite a good opportunity to show you the back of this top one got the cardigan on and I've just put the tuck in the front because I've got the belt on but I'll show you it is a good length it's right. <laughs> yes he's cooking dinner <laughs> what's cooking in the kitchen tonight I'm going around a friend's for dinner after this. Actually, Jules, you'll know them, Kim and Jules. I'm going there for dinner tonight. 
nice when you don't have to cook for yourself, oh, isn't it? Yeah. This is why I stay out on a Friday. Because if I'm late enough, then usually <laughs> my dinner will be ready. But not always. Sometimes I get home and it's like, oh, I'm glad you're home. What, what, what we're having tonight? I don't even want to do the thinking. No. I should have done that so I could walk through It's the not door. the way it works. Right. So here we are with a little jacket, which is conveniently combining all the stories, the navy and a little flash of orange. But this is an Andam jacket. Again, just gone live on the website. So if you want to, you can turn these cuff, cuffs back to show off the contrasting uh, lining, which is quite sweet. I will say hello for you, Jules and Harvey. <laughs> nice, it works perfectly with... Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks nice with this. So here you've got, you can see the round neck, you've got two um, magnetic press stub fastenings. But as I say... Actually, if you open it up, it's got a different feel. Mm. And then you've got um, stitch down pockets. Well, I don't know if it's a pocket, if it's just the, the design, but you've got this sort of almost like an angled um, handling shape in there. It just gives it, so it's not too boxy. It's actually, you know, it's not mega A line. It's, it's just a got a little cut. pleat in the back as well to give it a little bit of movement. It's very nice. It's really nice. So it's kind of, Substantial enough to be almost like a spring outer, but light enough to keep on. So if you were sort of going out for a, for a meal or a pub or something like that, you know, you could arrive in it, but also you could sit in it, which I think those sort of jackets are quite useful for spring, summer. So have I missed anything, Debbie? Um, I, think I don't think so. I'm going to scan across the rail just in case we'll do do that something pops out that we've missed. I think we've, take, we've done everything, haven't we? Mm. Yeah. So I hope you liked that collection um, and I hope you liked our little silly fun and games again this week. <laughs> so if you are watching us on replay, I'm sorry if you can't join us live, but the fun and games only applies if you're on the on the show live. So do try and get here if you can sometime between half past five and sort of six, six thirty we go to. Um, and then the next question is, what are we going to do next week? Exactly. We haven't thought about that no. really, have we? No. So if anybody wants to see anything particular, you could write it in the comments. Yeah. What haven't we done yet? We haven't done Narami. We haven't oh. done um, Orient Critique. Dress, we're kind of we're waiting for good like hot summery days, but actually that's going quite fast. Anyway. Um, We've got a few things we haven't okay, done. We haven't done. What about that new collection? Blueberry. We haven't done that. Blueberry. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. Um, we could do a couple together, actually, like yeah. Blueberry and GR Nature, or something like that. They're both linens, aren't they? So I suppose we could do a linen linen week. Yeah. Uh, Jules says, "How about Amma and Andam?" Ooh, nice. Have we done Andam? Um, no. Have we not? Ooh. In my That's head, so we, to show you. I thought we'd done Andam. Yeah. Actually, we, yeah. Yeah. I think we may have, again, like pulled in a few pieces. Mm. We did a little bit of Andam. Because we had some of the red stuff, in. And, yeah. yeah. Um, and some of the, the sort of mix and match stripe. Mm. Oh, we'll get back to you. We will. But if there's anything you'd like to see, you can put it. Oh, Meg says Narami, please. Yeah, Narami would be good. Narami and something else. Yeah. Have we done Mama B? Narami and Mama B we could do. That's a good one. Mmm. Watch this space. Yes. <laughs> good. Right. Well, thank you for watching for tonight, everybody. And uh, any questions, do feel free to contact us through all the usual um, channels that you do. And um, if you are watching us on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> I've been watching my kids doing, <laughs> doing their YouTube in. And, um, yeah, and we will see you at the same time next week um, for your next Style It Live. And well done to Meg and Jules. Yeah. Well done on to your little, tonight. your winners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sue says, thank you, lovely ladies. Oh, you're Thank welcome. you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.